Well, hello my darlings and welcome back to our channel. I am so glad you are here. Today, I am going to show you how to create some beautiful champagne flutes on a budget you would never believe. Stay tuned. For this project, you are going to need a two inch styrofoam ball. You will need a roll of chained rhinestones. You will also need a three strand roll of diamond wrap. You will need one of these mini cordial glasses. You will need a champagne flute. They come in a pack of two. You will also need some crystal gems. And of course, you will need your handy dandy tools. Today, we are going to be working with our soldering iron. Let's get crafting. So the first thing we're going to do in preparation for our craft is we are going to adhere our styrofoam ball atop our cordial glass, well, the bottom of our cordial glass. And how we're going to do this is simply going in with a foundation of hot glue since we're working with styrofoam. This is a smooth styrofoam, by the way, not the Flora Craft styrofoam. And once you have placed your foundation of glue, you're simply going to find your placement and set that styrofoam ball into place. Once you have done that, you are then going to take your soldering iron and you are going to create a hole inside that ball for your champagne flute to sit. So as you can see, I'm just taking my soldering iron and I'm sticking it into that styrofoam to create a space. So what we are going to do next is we are going to take our champagne flute and we are going to remove the stem from the base of that glass. And to do this, we are going to use our soldering iron to cut off the base. And all you're going to do since this soldering iron is at a 405 degree temperature, you're simply going to place your attachment on that stem and allow gravity as well as heat to do the rest. Once you have separated the stem from the base, you can set the base on a side. We're not going to need it for any other part of this project. Then once you have separated your flute from the stem, you are going to take that stem and place it in that styrofoam ball. I had to go back in with my soldering iron to make my hole a little bigger and I'm going to have to go back in again to make my hole a little deeper because what you actually want is that stem to be sitting in that styrofoam up to that jeweled part of your flute. So once you have placed your stem into that styrofoam ball, what you are going to do is using your hot glue, place some hot glue inside of that hole. And then place your champagne glass back inside of the hole and hold onto it while that hot glue is going to dry. Of course, we know styrofoam holds heat very well. And so this may take you a few moments, but while you are waiting for that hot glue to set inside of that styrofoam ball, I would just take your hot glue and seal that hole on top. So here we have our champagne flute that we created using a cordial glass and a Dollar Tree flute. And what we're going to do now is embellish our styrofoam ball with 
a combination of our gems as well as our chained rhinestone now to do this we are going to be using my second in command glue gun and the reason why I'm opting to use this one for this project is because it has both a high setting and a low setting and the low setting is going to be important in working with this styrofoam because you want to ensure that while you are laying your glue you're not melting your styrofoam ball at the same time hashtag true story <laughs> that you'll get to see in the outro but what i'm doing here is i'm simply laying down a few centimeters of hot glue at a time and i am laying that chain rhinestone in that hot glue making sure that those rhinestones are facing up this is the tedious part of um, this craft but again it is not without its merit because it is or can be very relaxing at the same time and so as you can see it's very tedious I'm going around very slowly because working with a low or a warm hot glue as opposed to a hot hot glue you can only lay down so much glue at a time before of course that glue starts to dry and so i'm just going to continue this process going all the way around that styrofoam ball and then when i'm finished i'll be back to tell you what we're going to be doing next in an effort to embellish our flutes. So here we have our champagne flute with our decorative styrofoam ball and what we're going to do right now is we're going to use some crystals to embellish the top of that ball right where the flute and the ball meet so all we're going to do with this is we are going to apply some hot glue on the back of that flat backed gem and once you have applied your foundation being very careful my darlings not to burn yourself we are simply going to place that gem right on top of that styrofoam ball. Once you have found your placement, you apply some pressure and this is what it is going to look like. So I'm going to continue this same process going all the way around with the same size gems and then I'll be back. So here we have our styrofoam ball that has been embellished with the rhinestones as well as with the gems on top. And what we're going to do now is our final embellishment. And we're going to be using our three strand diamond wrap to just go in on the cordial glass right underneath that styrofoam ball to obscure where that ball is sitting atop that cordial glass so to do this my darlings very simple we are going to take our um, hot glue making sure not to use too much i'm just using a smear of it not a stream not a bullet just a smear of it because you do not want any of that excess glue to come through your diamond wrap but once you have placed your foundation um, making sure to go all the way around back to where you started and once you have done so and you have cut off the excess then my darlings this craft is absolutely finished and so just trying to get back around to the other side where we started taking our scissors and cutting off the excess and then once you have cut off your excess, anchoring it by placing additional hot glue if necessary, but if the glue is still warm, voila, that's it. So I am going to clean this up of any glue fronds that they are, and I am going to stage these. And when I come back, I will show you guys what our finished project 
looks like. Well, here you have them, my darlings, our Glam Dollar Tree Champagne Flutes. Aren't these absolutely breathtaking? Who would have ever thought that a cordial glass, a champagne flute, and a styrofoam ball would have ever given you such glam? Now, as you can see, the glass that is on your left is the prototype that I used with which I use the Flora Craft styrofoam balls that you get from the Dollar Tree. And because I used that ball, the hot glue melted it. And as you can see, the shape has been warped. This one that I'm showing you now is the smooth foam that I got, which stood up much better to the hot glue and even allowed that rhinestone to lay much better than it did with the floral craft. So if you intend on recreating these, my darlings, I humbly suggest that you use the smooth foam as opposed to the floral craft. But I have to say that a dollar and eight cents has never looked this good. And when I say a dollar and eight cents, I am talking about the cost. If you think of your cordial glasses, it is one out of six. If you think of your champagne flutes, that's one out of two. If you think of these gemstones, that's one out of how many thousands are in the container and if you think about the rhinestone you're using a part of what is on the reel and so my darlings i think that i would have to say that we nailed yet another project and not only did we nail it we nailed it on a budget yay and so my darlings if you have found any value in this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up as well as leave me a comment in the comment section i would love to hear from you to my danny's darlings i just would like to tell you thank you as usual and as always for the love the comments the questions the feedback the encouragement i just love the way you guys love me please know that none of it is wasted and i appreciate each and every one of you to those of you however who may not yet be danny's darlings we would like to humbly encourage you to join our ever growing community of DIYers as we learn from and craft with each other on a weekly basis. And if you so choose to subscribe to our channel today, kindly consider pressing the notification bell so that you will be made aware of whenever any of our videos have been published. We would love to call you a part of our community. But my darlings, before I sign off from this video today, I am going to leave you with our ever apropos motto to our channel, which is simply this. Say it with me. Why buy when you can DIY? And so, my darlings, my loves, until next time, I say to you, please, please, please take care of yourselves for me. Know that I love you all. <laughs> Bye now.